Hi, I'm Dave. I want to show you how easy it is to hang artwork using picture rail hardware from House of Antique Hardware. Now the great thing about this method is not only is it good looking, but it lets you move or change your artwork anytime you want without putting holes in the wall. Now for this project, we're only going to need a pencil or marker, some heavy duty scissors or wire cutter, some painters or masking tape, and a drill and a bit for making pilot holes. We'll also need a picture hook, some braided picture cord, and some eyelet screws. If you have a house built before the 1930s, you probably already have picture rail molding in most rooms. It's usually installed near the ceiling or combined with crown molding. Sometimes it's a little lower at the height of the door headers or the window frames. Now, if you don't already have picture rail molding, you can get it very easily from House of Antique Hardware or at a local lumber yard. Picture hooks come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes, and most of them fit most varieties of picture reel molding. Now, cast brass hooks are better for heavier items, while the stamped hooks are better for lighter items. And the first step is to install the eyelet screws in the back of the picture frame. Now, the higher you install the screws on the frame, the flatter it will hang to the wall. The lower you install the screws, the more the picture will tip forward. That could be good if you have a very high installation. Now, the first thing we do is drill pilot holes. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're drilling is don't drill all the way through. Hold the picture up to the wall at the height you want to hang it and mark the wall at the top center of the frame. Place the hook on the rail directly above this center mark. Run tape across the back of the frame, just above the eyelet screws. Now mark the position of the screws, and also mark the center of the frame. Note how far the screws are from the top, in this case, six inches. Mark the wall that same distance below your center mark. Center and place the tape on the wall at the mark you made. Now run the cord over the hook and line it up with the marks you made on the tape. Make a bend in the cord where it meets the tape. Be sure to leave extra cord after the bend. Next we'll thread the cord through the eyelets. And we'll stop at that crimp that you made in each section of the cord. Remember, that's the point that we measured so we know what our height's going to be. Now, you can take and wrap the cord once around the eyelet if you want, because you want to secure it a little bit so that when you tie these two ends together in the middle, you can pull it taut so that you don't have any slack, because that will change the height of your picture. And tie a knot of the two ends in the middle now, if you're hanging something especially heavy, you want to definitely be sure you tie a good knot. Lift the picture in place and drape the cord over the hook. Now, if the picture isn't level, slide the cord back and forth over the hook until it hangs straight. Now, if you like a more decorative look, you can use a picture hanging kit, which includes a medallion and a tassel with a cord attached. This classic triangle method is a practical and simple way to hang art without damaging your walls. Now, you can get more creative by stacking artwork or using multiple cords and hooks, or by substituting wire or chain for cord. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please contact a hardware specialist at House of Antique Hardware at 888-223-2545.